Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage and today we're going to be talking about drone drop for the month of August 2018. I'm excited. You excited? Let's crack it open. What's inside? Let's find out together. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got ourselves a drone drop box to open. We're gonna crack it open. Now listen, I know a couple of you, you, I see you right there, you, you. You're the first time here. I understand that. Maybe a little bit overwhelming. Let me bring you up to speed. First thing, hit that subscribe button. You know you're gonna wanna do it, just please do it. We'll get it over with and we'll move forward. It doesn't cost you anything. You just do a little click. It makes finding my videos a lot easier. Now with that out of the way, Let's see what's inside this box. Now here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna come in close, crack it open, see what's inside, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a cost analysis. See what it is, what it's worth, and my thoughts on it, all right? So why don't you come in, let's get comfortable. All right, you guys excited? Because I know I'm excited, I wanna see what's in this. So, got my little X-Acto knife. We flip it over, we got our seal. Let's break this seal open. Nice cut, boom, little pre open on that flap. We flip it over and here we go. Ooh, loving the hat, but we'll get back to that. We'll cut, let's go, let's do it. What, what, what we see on top here first and foremost. All right, so we got some HQ props here. These are the Popo ones, which means they uh, they pop on, pop off. They're the quick swap ones. And I am not seeing a label on these with what type of prop they are. So I'm gonna have to read the inscription on the prop itself. They are 5.1 by 3.1 by three, obviously, and a nice kind of translucent green color, pretty sweet. And we got three packs of those as usual. Next up, we got some battery straps from HQ Props. Pretty cool, can't go wrong. I mean, by this point I have a bajillion battery straps, but maybe you don't have any battery straps and you'd like some, so now you got some. What else we got? Oh, wow, all right. I'll take a SanDisk Micro SD, 16 gig, Ultra, Pretty sweet. That's unexpected entirely. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. We got a 1.5 millimeter uh, hex driver. Let's crack this open, take a peek. From Team Black Sheep. That is very nice, very cool. Got a good grip on it too, liking it. Now we got the hat. Very cool. Oh, it's got like a plasticky thing at the side. Okay, I guess that's just to make it, you know, keep the brim nice. Very cool. Basically, brain FPV. Got some cool graphics on the brim. Nice raised embroidery there. Brain FPV. Very cool hat, I love it. I love hats. Hats are an amazing thing. All right, we got a little box here. It says FPV camera, but that's all it says on it, nothing else. And it feels very lightweight. Let's see what's inside. Oh wow, okay, let's see. Got some parts in here. Interesting. It is a little FPV camera. And in the back it just says FPV camera. Not sure if this is what brand it is or anything, but it does look like an FPV camera. I'll have to do a little bit of research. Whoops, knock my cap off here. If you're interested, it has a one third inch, 2.1 millimeter lens on it. 
do a little research just to see off the top of my head. I'm not familiar with what camera this is because it just says FPV camera. I don't know if it's the Team Black Sheep little micro one or what, but it comes with uh, some wires and a, quali a qualified certificate. I guess that's their Q&A, not Q&A, QA, quality assurance. All right, I'll have to look and see what this is because there's no branding on this box whatsoever. It doesn't say like Team Black Sheep or, you know, anything. It just says FPV camera and then where it says model, there should looks like there should be a sticker here and there's nothing. So it's kind of like a generic camera, but we'll do a little research and see if I can find a match for it. And obviously some Team Black Sheep stickers. Always fun to play with those. And some more stickers. They're pretty cool. I like the drone drop ones too. Those are nice. Very cool stuff. All right, so to recap, as always, some stickers and some stickers. FPV camera, got to figure out what brand that is. Got the cool Brain FPV hat. Do it like that. Like that was packed so there's more room. A 1.5 millimeter driver. A 16 gig ultra SD card couple battery straps, and three packs of HQ props. All right, let's run some numbers, and let's see what we got. All right, so the numbers are in. Let's take a look at them right there. Now, looking over those, you can see, okay, this box is, I'd say, kind of decent. It's not stupendous, it's not amazing. It's a decent value if you're a subscriber. Not so much for the one-time purchase, and certainly not if you're looking at the China column of the prices, but let's go through it one at a time down the row. So first thing we have is the HQ props, and I love HQ props. They're one of the two types of props I fly. I fly either HQ props or I fly the dial cyclone props. Those are basically the two kinds I fly. It's always a welcome benefit to having more props because I crash a lot. I'm willing to admit it. I take a lot of risks, I push it a lot, and I crash a lot. And every time you crash, you bend up your props. Now, granted, there are those that you go, oh, that's good enough, you bend it back, and you say, oh, that'll still fly. But I've also had it where I thought I was good, and I bent it back, and I started flying, and then my prop exploded off of my quad while I was just hovering, and then it plummeted to the ground. So therefore, I've kind of gotten into the mode of after I've crashed once or twice on a set of props, I kind of swap them out to fresh ones. And since I have so many props from these boxes, it makes sense to do that. What's also nice, these are the Popo ones. So if you have motors that have that push on, push off, where you push the top and it pops it off and you pop back on, we talked about this in the earlier videos. That's great. I still use motor nuts because I don't have motors that have the push on, push off uh, feature, but it's nice that they're on there. Now, battery straps, you know, I feel it's cool to get them. But after a while, you end up with so many of these things that you don't know what to do with them anymore. They're not really a consumable, meaning they're not like a prop. It doesn't wear out. It doesn't break. It, it's sort of once you have one on there and holding your battery on there, you don't really need more. But a lot of companies, it's really cheap to get these and then silkscreen whatever logo you want on the little tab of it. Now, look, oh, an HQ prop battery strap. And then, you know, you feel like you got something cool, but really... You know, it's not really much of anything, but it doesn't really add much to the value of the box. We're looking at a couple of bucks for either column, but you know, throw it in your spare parts bin. Maybe sometime you'll use them. And if you don't have them, at least then you got them. So that's kind of a cool thing. Now the hex driver. Now this is pretty cool in that it's, you know, it's the team black sheep hex driver. However, it's kind of overpriced on their website. It's like almost five bucks if you were to buy just the one. Uh, on Amazon, not even China, but on Amazon, I found a set of four of these that look pretty identical, but just don't say Team Black Sheep on them. I believe they're by a brand newer, and it's a set of four of them. So it's like the 1.5, the 2.0, the 2.5, and a 3.0, I think, off the top of my head. And the whole set is 11 bucks. Really, that makes one of them be about $2.75 a piece. So it's a little overpriced, so that's kind of why in the China column, the China column on this item is actually the Amazon price because the Amazon price was really cheap and it looks identical to these. So if you're interested in this and I, I mean, I don't know the quality, I've never tried them, but they, they look the same, maybe go check that out on Amazon. But having a driver like this in upon itself is great. Yes, you can get a whole set of Allen keys, but what's nice is you have the handle so you can manipulate it. You also have a longer shaft so you can kind of get in there and work on things a little bit better. So I prefer this style 
versus an Allen key. But if you already have a set of Allen keys, you don't necessarily need this. It's more of a luxury item. Um, but that's my thoughts on that. Now the SD card, this was a curveball. I was never expecting to receive a SanDisk memory card in, a, in one of these boxes ever. It's one of those things that you, you may almost take for granted that you need when you're flying because somewhere you would like to record. Now, not everyone records, but whether you're recording on your goggles with a DVR or you're recording on like a run cam split or you have a GoPro running or you have something going on, you're probably gonna be recording your flight in some way. And that's where this comes in. This is the memory card that you'd put in your camera. The only thing I was kind of like a little like, oh, okay, that kind of not so great is that it's a 16 gig card. So it's a small card, but granted that's because the, you know, if a bigger car would cost more. So personally, I would say that this would be ideal for a um, putting into your goggles because the DVR footage does not take up a lot of space. So you'll be able to keep recording, recording, recording on a 16 gig uh, card and not have to worry about emptying it out every day. If you were to put this like into a GoPro or run cam split running at like a high resolution HD video recording, it may fill up a lot quicker. So I would see this would be great for on a goggle or something like that. And that's probably where I'm going to end up using it um, as maybe like a backup to my goggles in case it, you know, fills up. I have an empty one. I can just pop in there and swap it out. So I don't miss any of that important luscious footage. Yes, I called DVR footage luscious. It's not. Okay, so that's the memory card. Next is the hat from Brain FPV. And it's a really cool hat. The only thing I don't, I kind of don't get, maybe I'm missing something, is that the little sticker on here, I'll read it to you. It says, uh, Drone Drop Edition featuring Team Black Sheep, Brain FPV, Drone Electronics, BrainFPV.com 2018. And then it has in the middle a little logo that has half of a Team Black Sheep logo, it says the Drone Drop logo on top of the um, Brain FPV. However, if you go to the Brain FPV website, you can buy this exact hat. The difference is the sticker. So I don't, the hat itself, I don't think is any special edition. I think the sticker that they've applied to the hat is the special edition sticker. If that means anything to you, then that's all I could see the difference was, but you can buy this exact hat with the same logos, same everything. The only difference is the sticker doesn't ha have all that information on it. Um, but it's on their website. You can go and buy it right now for the $21.99. And it's a pretty cool hat. I mean, I do like it. It's a little, head's a little bigger than that. Try that. You know, it's a cool hat. I like it. So I'll write it for the rest of the episode. Now, lastly, here's the, here's the big question mark that I had earlier, which was this quote unquote FPV camera. When I went to the Team Black Sheep website, if you look at their micro CCD camera, it looks physically the same as this camera. It looks identical from all the pictures, the way the back looks, the writing on the back, the front, everything about it looks like the camera from their website. So I am presumably safe to say that this camera is a TBS CCD micro cam. Okay. And since it's from drone drop and they have the team black sheep association, I think that's a safe bet. However, here's my problem with that. It doesn't say that anywhere on the box. It doesn't say anywhere on the side of the box. It doesn't say any, anywhere, on, anywhere on the box. Now, all the Team Black Sheep products that I have received in the past have some sort of branding on it, whether it comes in that little bubble envelope thing. It's always had something, whether it's on the product or on the packaging. So I'm not saying that this isn't a Team Black Sheep product. I'm just saying I'm disappointed that the packaging doesn't indicate that it's a Team Black Sheep product. And in fact, this packaging to me indicates a very generic China product. So if Team Black Sheep is buying these from China, they didn't even take the time to put a little label on the side saying Team Black Sheep micro CCD camera or whatever. It's a very generic box with a very generic area to put a label and then a very generic, even the camera itself is very generic. There's no marking on it other than saying it's a camera. 
So my disappointment lay in that if they're going to take a generic China camera and just call it their own, it'd be nice if they at least took some time to make the packaging not so generic. So at least it tricks me a little bit. But right now I feel like this is just some, you know, if I bought this from the TBS website, I'd be a little disappointed because I'd say this is just a piece of, you know, China garbage maybe and not a Team Black Sheep product. But maybe, who knows, maybe that's what all Team Black Sheep products are. They're just rebranded China products. I don't know. Now, have I used it? No, I don't know how it works. I'm not going to comment along those lines. I'm just saying that it was disappointing that there's no indication on the packaging at all that this is a Team Black Sheep product. That being said, it's very cool to get a camera, especially a micro CCD camera, because this is gonna be great for some smaller builds that I kind of have in my mind, and I needed to have a really small, tight camera, and this, this looks like it's gonna fit the bill perfectly for those builds, so it's great to have a small camera. Now, I don't know its quality or anything because I haven't used it yet, but if it is a Team Black Sheep product, I'm. I'm pretty confident in saying it's gonna be decent. So we'll see when we go to use it. But that's my thoughts on this guy. Overall, with all said and done over here, you can see that the box is, it's okay, value-wise. Quantity-wise, like the stuff in it, I'm pretty happy with. It got a camera, it got some props, got a memory card, some tools, this awesome hat. You know, it had some good stuff in there. I'm not complaining about the quality of the products inside the box. What I am gonna comment on, though on the value the value is you know i could have bought all these products on my own and not really saved much because i probably wouldn't have bought these battery straps and i probably wouldn't have bought this tool and i probably wouldn't have bought this hat it's a pretty cool hat but i probably wouldn't have bought it I also probably wouldn't have bought a 16 gig memory card. If I was gonna buy a memory card, I probably would have bought like a 64 gig memory card. Just way it's more universal and I could pop it at anything, even my high def, you know, cameras. So I probably wouldn't have bought this particular memory card. In reality, the only things I probably would have bought from this box are some props and a camera. And if you add up those prices, you're, you're coming up short. That's kind of where I am with the drone drop boxes that I'm noticing that they're marginally good on value, but the stuff in them is like a little bit of this and a little bit of that and maybe one or two good items. Just throwing it out there, you know, personally speaking, comparing drone drop to quad box lately, lately quad box has been killing it as far as value goes, but you know, drone drop maybe has maybe a little bit higher end product in it because it's more of TBS stuff and everything you want to look at it that way so I'm just putting that information out there for you you can make your own decision what you like or dislike from these boxes however the only thing that I like to really comment on specifically is the value because that's not an opinion that's just numbers fact and that's it and if you look over down at the bottom that's basically telling you how much value was in this box over what I paid for the box and you can see it's not great in the China column, we're actually in the negatives. And even in the retail column, it's not, it doesn't even break 10 bucks for a one-time purchase. And even as a subscriber, you know, you're at like nine bucks China price and 18 bucks retail price. And like I said, some of this stuff I probably wouldn't have picked up anyway. So I, I, I don't feel ripped off. I feel kind of broken even is how I would say. Even though I am coming out, you know, as a subscriber, and if we looked at the retail column, I'm coming out $18 a head. I'd say this is about $18 of stuff that I'm probably not gonna need or use. So I feel like I kind of broke even, if that is a weird way of looking at things. So I don't feel like I ripped off, I don't feel like I wasted money. I feel like I will use some of the stuff in this box and, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, the next box maybe improves a little bit upon that. That's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about these products. Let me know your thoughts on this camera. The fact that it has no TBS markings on it, but yet it's probably the TBS camera. You know, what, what do you think? If you think, you know, that's cool that they do it like that, or you feel like it should maybe have some TBS markings on it. I don't know. And if I forgot to mention earlier, 
Let me just say that the few items that are flagged in yellow, the reason why they're flagged in yellow is it just means that the China price column is the same price as the retail price column. And that just means like something very specific like this hat. Yes, you can find other hats, but you won't find this hat somewhere else cheaper. If you want this hat, you have to buy it from their website. So therefore it's flagged in yellow, meaning it's the same price in both columns because I didn't even bother looking for a cheaper price because I knew I wasn't gonna find one. Same thing for this camera. The TBS camera, you're going to have to buy a TBS camera if it, if it is in fact the TBS camera, but you're not going to find a cheaper one. And actually, I did try to find a cheaper micro CCD camera. And actually, you can't even find one that's cheaper than the TBS one. You find like the, uh, the other brands that are a little bit more expensive into like the $30 range. So this is actually the cheapest one I could find even on like Banggood. So I just figured I'd leave it as is and flag it as yellow. So that's what that means. In any case... I hope this cost analysis helped you out to see if this was something you may be interested in, or at least just give a little breakdown of my thoughts on these products. All right, so as always, my name is Tronich. Fly strong. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you really should subscribe. I'm always posting new content. If you'd like to help support the channel and get access to giveaways, raffles, and other exclusive benefits, consider joining the Tronich family on the Patreon page. Here's some videos that you might be interested in, this is the latest one that I posted, and this one I think you might just like. Go check them out.